Jojo Siwa has officially gone absolutely feral. Not only did she release her new EP and receive awful ratings, but she's also doing and saying things that I would deem as absolute insanity. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to cringe max. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I really agree with the part where she said. <laughs> Sorry, she didn't really have a clue what the hell she was on about. No, but seriously, that's her screaming and raving about her new song release, which is called Guilty Pleasure. And if I do have to say so myself, ladies and gentlemen, it's pretty cringe. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. It really hurt my throat doing that Jojo Siwa impression, but I might have to just do it again. Dream guest on my podcast? Honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. Oh? Dream guest on my podcast? Oh, let's spice things up. Probably one of my exes. <laughs> But as I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, she has released a new EP. One of the songs that's included in that EP is Guilty Pleasure. Now, of course, this follows her last song that she released, which was Karma. And I guess you could say that was her first song where she announced that she was changing for the better. Changing from child star to beast. I mean, what other word would you use to describe that costume? She looks like my knee. Now, my last video didn't go so well, but that's okay, guys. I forgive you. But in that video, I covered Karma in this- Oh, shit. <laughs> now, in that video, I did cover the release of her song Karma, which, by the way, performed very, very bad in the charts. I mean, what else do we expect, though? She went from bows and glitter to literally dry humping a female on the floor. In fact, in fact, it was so bad, ladies and gentlemen, that it became one of the most disliked videos in 2024. Oh, I mean, what can we say to her, guys? I mean, karma's a bitch. I should've known better. <laughs> but just to sum up the backstory real quick, this whole thing that she's doing, this whole stigma she's got going on right now is basically her trying to rebrand herself. Something that nobody's ever seen before. Coming from a child star and um, having a child audience to now having... <laughs> <laughs> Well, whatever the f*** that is. I mean, she's just gone completely off the rails. She's spam posting on TikTok, like, multiple times a day, trying to promote her new music videos that nobody really cares about. She's talking about having triplets with three different people. She's going around Disneyland celebrating her 21st birthday, absolutely plastered out of her mind. And just to really get the message across that she really has changed, ladies and gentlemen, that she's no longer a child star, she made the biggest statement of the century. <laughs> I mean, nothing makes a bigger statement than that than putting your f***ing hand down your trousers. <laughs> Guys, I'm not a child anymore. And this goddamn statement right here should prove that more than anything. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. <sighs> yeah, who's the kid now, bitch? But yeah, we are going to check out her EP in a little bit. She's also been swatted as well, which is apparently a good thing. But firstly, I know it's not new, but I have yet to see this. So let's check out her being absolutely shit-faced in Disneyland. <laughs> Yes, correct, mysterious person behind the camera, that is Jojo Siwa. And she's absolutely shit faced I mean, talk about a marvellous way to spend your 21st birthday. In a children's amusement park, absolutely totaled. Yeah, so fast. I mean, surely a normal 20-year-old would have just thrown some sort of birthday party in the night and gone to a couple of bars and clubs and had a bloody jolly good time. But not Jojo Siwa, ladies and gentlemen, no. She went to Disney World. And I think the reason she went to Disney World is to make a statement. You little kids over, you can't support me. I'm drunk in Disney World. I'm edgy now. I mean, what's edgier than getting shit? face in a child's amusement park. You know what I mean? Not just that, but she had an epic cringe moment when she, when she tried to get people to sing along with her lyrics to Karma. And it was an epic fail. And it should be a part of those epic fail compilation videos. Wish. Wish. I would have never effed around. Yeah, we know it. Yeah. Sounds like you really know the song. Sorry, Jojo, if you are trying to rebrand yourself, why would you be trying to get people to sing along in Disney World, a place where kids go? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jojo, have you learned nothing? Yeah. <laughs> oh my, I mean, does she honestly believe this is the pinnacle of edginess? 
That is absolutely feral. I do wonder, right, but surely with the way she's acting and the way she's stumbling around the place and drinking alcohol and it's all pouring down her like some sort of wild animal, wouldn't you class that as antisocial behaviour, perhaps? But Georgia Siwa's rebrand is uh, kind of cringe. I mean, she's trying way too hard to prove to everybody that she's edgy now when she's no longer the sparkles and bows. I mean, she's covering herself in fake tattoos, which is something a child does. Minus 1,000 aura, surely. She's not a kid anymore from dance moms, ladies and gentlemen. She's now a dominant lesbian. I mean, what was that? I feel like she was asserting dominance in some way. Weird. <laughs> and she tries to devote herself once again to proving that she's now edgy by drinking alcohol on stage. Whoa, if that doesn't prove her edginess, I don't know what will. She literally opened a bottle of alcohol and didn't take a sip. Yeah. She, she didn't even, she didn't even drink it. I mean, there's no bubbles coming up, and there's also the same amount of alcohol in that bottle prior to her taking the sip. I mean, that's pretty bad ass. What is this? There is a six-year-old right there. Why the f are you here? I love it. I am so here for it. You're awesome, dude. I mean, that's pretty normal behavior, I'd say. You see a six-year-old child, and you proceed to cuss at them. <laughs> Guys, thank you for coming to my show. Oh my god, is that a six-year-old f***ing kid? What's up, motherfucker? Motherfucker, bitch, what the f*** are you doing here? Oh my god, f***. But good job, Georgia, because you had to take it the extra mile once again just to prove to people how edgy you can really be. I mean, cussing at a kid? Oh my days, what an absolute rebel. She even goes as far to ask a stupid question as why are you here? Um, I don't know, Jojo, maybe because most of your supporters up until this point were children. Sorry, child, I mean, you're out of place. What the f*** are you doing here? I'm, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm edgy. You're the weird one in this situation for even questioning that. It goes without saying why the child is there. But anyway, moving on to Jojo Siwa, allegedly being swatted. Uh, this article popped up on Complex, which states, Jojo Siwa says that she had to hire security after recently being swatted. It's been fun to say the least. Okay, I guess we'll get really right into it. I got swatted two nights ago. I haven't told anybody about this yet, but basically I showed up to my house, there was four police cars outside. And the police asked me, he was like, why do you not have security with you in this moment? And I was like, because I haven't needed it yet, yeah. but now I do really need it every, every day with me. So it definitely has changed in the last month, um, two months, three months, I guess, since Karma came out. Uh, it's, it's been fun, to say the least. It was fun being swatted? I mean, I guess, yeah, I can see. I can see the element of joy in being swatted by several police. Yeah. Oh, my days. I'm being swatted. <laughs> The element of joy! <laughs> but you know, the thing is with Jojo Siwa recently, her response to like this kind of stuff and hate, it just seems like she's completely in denial about it. I mean, it's been fun being swatted. Really? <laughs> like, a look at her response when she finds out that Karma has been one of the most disliked videos in 2024. Delicious got released of the most disliked music video by a female artist on YouTube in 2024. Here we go. Jesus, I mean, does she really have a cardboard cutout of herself? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, talk about brown nose and somebody else, there's nothing worse than brown nose and yourself, is there? In fact, now that I think about it, guys, shall I get a life-sized cardboard cut out of myself and place it right there and occasionally make love to it? Now that I think about it, that's a, that's a damn good idea. 350,000 dislikes and your number one first place overall goes to Karma by Jojo Siwa with an astonishing, record-breaking 3.1 million dislikes! Well, if a voice didn't pick me off before, it does now. I'm not sure that's something to be entirely happy about. Yay! My video was the most hated video in 2024. Yay. I mean, she acts like she's happy about it, but in reality, we all know the truth. And the truth is, is that she cried herself to sleep last night while cuddling a cardboard cutout. And moving on to a new song, Guilty Pleasure. Wow. Honestly, uh, this really did flop. Like, this was just awful. And the backlash that she received from it, she responded by saying that she's people's guilty pleasure. Jojo Siwa. And it finally hit me what the fundamental flaw is in her bad girl rebrand. I'm your guilty pleasure. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. So the caption, babe, 
and then proceeds to play I'm Your Guilty Pleasure. Do you honestly believe that while I'm making this video, you really do believe that you're my guilty pleasure listening to your songs? <laughs> a guilty pleasure is something you do in secrecy. You feel guilty about it, but you love it so much, and that's why you do it in secrecy. In my situation, no, I just think your music's shit. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that I've edged you long enough that we should now check out her Guilty Pleasure music video. Before we check out the music video, I firstly want to say subscribe to the channel, baby. We've recently hit 100k, and guess what? We're now aiming for 150k. Hit the sub button, guys. 150k by the end of September. We can do it. Let's band together. Turn on bell notifications. I appreciate you. Let's get involved. Okay, so where to begin with Guilty Pleasure? I mean, she's spam posting TikToks about this new music video. And it's safe to say that the dance is <laughs> pretty, pretty weird, I'd say. She's like an octopus that's just come out of water. You, you'll see what I mean. I'm your guilty pleasure. Dun -a -dun -a -dun -a -dun 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 what the f*** is that? What, what is that? What? <laughs> Jojo, you're, you're truly my guilty pleasure with, with those kind of moves. I mean, dun -a -dun -a -dun -a -dun -a and what's this bit as well? It's almost like the music video was interrupted by one of those AI time traveler memes. I mean, I wouldn't even call that good dancing or even okay dancing. That's just, that's just absolutely terrible. Now that was of course just her promoting it in her TikTok, but the actual music video is pretty questioning. I mean, she's a construction worker in one of them and then she's in some sort of chapel surrounded by priests, which are half naked. I mean, guys, I'm sure you can agree, but just by watching that scene alone, it's just instantly put me off it. If I was ever to go to hell, I imagine this song would be played on repeat down there, just as a form of torture. I'm your guilty pleasure. Tana, 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 tana. I, I could just hear it now. The chorus of hell is just Jojo Siwa's song. <laughs> Hi, your song saved me. <laughs> I've been suffering from a severe depression episode. When Guilty Pleasure came on the radio, I finally got out of bed for the first time in three months to turn it off. <laughs> I mean, that is, that, is, that, is, that is quality. Hey, that is the best comment I've ever read in my whole YouTube career. But you know what though? I think that she thinks that she's better than she is. When really it's, you know, it's pretty shit. I mean, that dance, I, I still can't get it on my head. I mean, what on earth is that? I've never quite seen anything like that before. But you know what? I had even more of a chuckle when the construction part of her music video came on. I wasn't aware this was a stand-up comedy bit. Unedited BTS of the Jackhammer section in the Guilty Pleasure music video. One of my favourite moments from filming. Well then, this ought to be good. Okay, here we go! Oh, I mean, what the f**k was that? That's really, really cringe. That's not... That's not cool. It's not edgy. That's just... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that, sorry, did you say this was your favorite part of filming? God, I feel sick. <laughs> oh, I mean that bit right there, just that. <laughs> That is so bad. It is funny, honestly. What the fuck was that? Yes, 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 yes. And all the yes men in the background as well. Yes, yes, slay queen. Yes. Oh, oh my days. I mean, it's just the. <laughs> That is like, my belly's hurting, honestly. That is dead. But you know what, in an alternate reality, watching this music video, I probably f***ed with it. Up until that jackhammer moment, which just obliterated everything. Minus 25,000 aura right there. Just ruined it, didn't it? Just... <sighs> That's my response. <sighs> But it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever in human history, we have a real-time depiction of what's currently happening in hell. <laughs> which is why I want to do it. I realize anything I do is going to piss people off, which is why I want to do it. It's just, it's just another way of saying bad clout is still clout, you know, but... But that gets even worse than these gentlemen. After she released her music video, she jumped on an interview 
where she said this, which I found really, really weird to say something like this. George will see what details plans to welcome triplets with three different surrogates. I actually want to take three eggs, fertilize three eggs, and have three surrogates. Then maybe the little birthdays will land on different days and they can be like triplets. <laughs> Wow, what a fun, jolly old story that nobody's ever heard before. So she she wants three triplets from three different people. <laughs> so let me just clear all this up for us, ladies and gentlemen. She wants triplets from three different people. Well, triplets are three babies that are carried during one pregnancy, so... And he just, once again, outlines just the insanity, you know? I want triplets from three different people! Yeah, just that doesn't, doesn't work. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button, check out my other videos, they're pretty, you know, insane and unhinged. I'm sure you'll probably enjoy them, so check them out.